Corbin down the line. That's a fair ball. It's headed down the 320 mark in right field. Corbin Carroll thinking three, and he's on the run. Close at third, and he's in there. It gets behind Hayes, and Corbin Carroll goes all the way around. De La Cruz just acquired for the Marlins, fished it out of there in that corner, and the relay got behind third base, and it's quickly 1-0 Diamondbacks. Boy, this is a nice job by Corbin Carroll. You know already that's going to be a double, but he's thinking triple right out of the box, shoots into that corner. A little tough play there, getting it out, but you know when you get it to... Cruz there, he's got the plus arm. Here he puts the burners on. And then the throw gets into third. It looked like they had a play on him, but it was a wild throw. It got behind Key Brian Hayes, and Corbin Carroll takes the turn all the way around. Josh Bell in a cleanup spot in his diamond back debut. There goes another one off the bat of Cattell Marte, and it nearly cleared the ballpark. His 25th, and the first two batters for the Diamondbacks have gone all the way around. That jumped off the bat and hit that back fence back there and nearly went into the Allegheny River. 420 feet, that ball got out in a hurry. Yeah, it did. I think the key for him was he fouled off some tough pitches and got that fastball right down the heart of the plate. Put a good swing on it. Boy, that had a hit me sign on it for sure, and he did not miss it. What a start. 2 nothing. here's Peterson. Gonzo, you are already behind in the yep, promo count. Yep. Truck is all over you. Peterson launches another one, and that one's gone! Way out of here and into the river. The first three will go all the way around. It's floating in the Allegheny for Peterson's 16th. 430 feet. What a start. I think they're going to carry this momentum into uh, August here, Gonzo, from July. Well, I tell you what, they came out of the gate swinging today. Oh, he got a little breaking ball down in the strike zone, and that's a happy zone for a left-handed hitter. Hit that one 430 feet. Watch where this one lands. We track it with our outstanding crew here in the ballpark. It cleared everything out there. Cattell's hit that back chain link fence, and Peterson's cleared it. And they are all over Luis Ortiz, who started last Friday at Chase Field. He gave up only three runs in that start over five innings. He's already given up three runs, three batters into this one. Well, what do you think Josh Bell's taking his first D back at bat? You've got a triple and two homers in front of you. Pressure's on. you got to keep it moving, right? Here he is, Josh Bell making his Diamondback debut of all places, Pittsburgh, where he played here five years and was an all-star. Acquired at the trade deadline for the Miami Marlins. He is the first baseman in the cleanup spot. Josh Bell joins the party. Way back and gone. <laughs> Welcome to the Diamondbacks, Josh Bell. And what is happening in Pittsburgh? Wow. I'd say that trade worked out pretty well, Mike Hazen. Sure has. <laughs> My goodness. Another one that left the ballpark entirely. Boom. His 15th of the year and his first as a Diamondback. 96 down the middle, and he put a good swing on it. The Corbin Carroll triple scored on the E6, and then three consecutive home runs, and Lourdes Gurriel Jr. steps in. Corbin Carroll got it started with a triple down the right field line, and then the home run derby broke out. Marte's 25th, Jock 16th, Josh Bell one swing into his Diamondback career, and it's 5-0 D-Bags.